Stampers, this is Travis. Welcome to YouTube Tuesday. Thanks for watching today. And today for our card, I'm going to be making a book binding card that is an explosion card on the inside. So recently I was stamping with um, a dear friend and she actually had a card that she shared that is this technique. And I'm like, that is adorable. And so today we are going to make this card. I think I have everything here. I might need to get some ribbon, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, so let's get started today. Okay, so first of all, I am going to be using these three ink pads. Okay, so um, Evening Evergreen is an in color that's been around for a little while. Sweet Sorbet is a newer in color that's just came out in June. And then we have Pale Papaya. So all three of these are in colors. Okay, um, and I am going to use Sweet Sorbet cardstock. I am actually going to be using a lovely in linen designer series paper. This is really some adorable paper. And um, for the explosion card, I'm gonna be using a six by six piece of, of this, not this paper, but from that pack. Okay, I'm also gonna be using flowering tulips as my stamp set. Flowering tulips has the matching uh, coordinating dies. I'm not gonna be using the dies today. I'm gonna be using dies from Stylish Shapes. And these dies are new. They have the, um, they're not really stitched, I think they're more like just, um, I don't know what that's called, but it's just like little pinpoints around. Um, and so they're circles, squares, and then these tags. So um, we're gonna be using uh, one of the, actually two of those today. I have my black pad here. I don't know if I'm gonna need that or not. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm gonna use an 11 by four and a quarter piece of cardstock. So you get two pieces out of every sheet. I'm gonna fold it in half to start. So it is gonna be opening lengthwise, kind of like a book. It'd be nice if I folded that correctly. And then I did score it at um, four and a half. So it has one score line at four and a half. And so you're gonna flip that back like that. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and um, attach my designer series paper. This is four and a quarter by four. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to my card. And then I have a little piece that's four by three fourths and I'm gonna attach that. This way, I don't think it matters. I don't think it really matters. Okay, so we have that. And then I have my other piece of designer series paper. So this is from the same pack, Lovely and Linen. It's a six by six piece, so you can get four out of each sheet because that's a 12 by 12. This card is perfect for that six by six designer series paper. You don't even need to cut it. You just need to fold it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold this. Fold it this way, actually. Fold this in half. That. You want to make sure you get it as perfect as you can. Okay. And then fold it this way in half again. Okay. And then you're going to flip it over and you're going to fold it into a triangle. And this is all you need to do to start your explosion card. Okay, so now what's gonna happen is that's gonna pop up. These are going to pull together like that. It's so easy, it almost does it for you. Okay, so that's gonna be your explosion. Okay, all right, so we have that ready. Let's do a little stamping. I have a piece of white cardstock and I did cut out the largest square from Stylish Shapes. Okay, so that was this one. But if you don't have that, you can certainly just cut this in a square. It's no big deal. Okay, now I'm gonna use my flowering tulips. Any stamp set will work. Um, obviously, this paper is not tulips, but hey, works for me kind of looks the same to me. So I am going to look at this as a two-step stamp, okay? So the one that has less um, 
less image would be the one that you do darkest, and the one that has the most image would be the lightest. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So you can stamp them in whatever order you like. I like stamping the darkest first, so I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this one first. Okay, I'm gonna stamp this in Sweet Sorbet. And I'm just gonna stamp it up here at the top. Okay, and then I'm going to clean that off. And then I'm going to stamp the lighter one. So when I use the lighter one, I could use a different color or I can just stamp it off, which is what I'm gonna do. And so I'm gonna ink that up with my sweet sorbet, stamp it off, okay? And then I'm going to line it up perfectly over the other one that's already stamped. And I think it's easier to do it this way because it's easy to see that dark image and to line it up easier. Then I'm going to stamp the other tulip, which is this one. I think that's the one I want. Yes. So I'm going to stamp this one next. And I'm trying to decide if I should do it in the same color or if I should do it in pale papaya. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I think I'm going to change it up and use pale papaya. So I'm going to stamp this. So this is the image that would be darker. So I'm going to stamp that first. Clean off my stamp. And then stamp the second one, which would be this one, I believe. Yes. And ink that up. Stamp it off first, line it up in there, and stamp it. Ooh, it came out really light, but I like it. I like it, so I'm going to go with it. All right, now I'm going to stamp the leaves, and I'm going to use Evening Evergreen because the Designer Series paper shows us that Evening Evergreen is the green that they used. So I'm going to use Evening Evergreen ink, and I am going to stamp these smaller stem first. Wow, that's a big block. I don't think I need that big of a block. If you use a big block, you take a chance on getting it in the ink pad, right? And getting ink on it. Um, I'm trying to decide if I need to do a stem first. I think actually I do. I think I'm going to do the stem first. What's cool about these photopolymer stamps is, is that they bend. So if you want one going one way and one going the other way, you can do that. Okay, now I can add my leaves because I have a stem to add them to. Makes sense, right? And to decide if I want to do, I think I'm just going to go full steam and do dark. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Another cool thing about photopolymer stamps, you can line them up easy. Stamp that one off. Oh, did I get ink on my fingers? I must have. Hmm. I'm not sure I like it with that ink on the spot. Oh, that's a bummer. Just go with it, Travis. Don't freak out about it. Okay, now I need to do the center of the flower. I don't know how I got ink. Did I get the ink on the, no, I didn't. I don't know how I got ink on the paper. Ugh, never happy about that when it happens. This is the center of the flower. Maybe I should close it so I don't get ink on my hangers. Done stamping. I'm really not happy about that ink. Um, I think I'm going to do a dark one. Another dark one just to cover that up. Oh, 
Uh -huh. It actually looks better. You know why? It bounces out this dark one. So I put another dark one there to cover up my boo-boo. Usually a way to fix everything. That's what I love about stamping. All right. Done with that. Okay, so that's actually going to go on the front of my card. And now I'm looking at it thinking, should I have layered that? Hmm. Perhaps I should have. But did not cut a piece of Evening Evergreen cardstock. Not saying that I can't, because I have my card stock right here. And I love layers. So, let's do it. We have our paper trimmer. Let's measure this. It is two and three fourths by two and three fourths. So we're gonna make this three by three. waste any paper doing it that way. By three. And I think you're going to see how much better this looks with a layer. Mm-hmm. Now, didn't that make it pop? I think it did. Okay, hey, now we can put it on our card. So much cuter. All right, now let's go ahead and pop in our explosion card part. So, first thing I wanna do is I wanna seal this book binding up and I'm gonna use my liquid glue for this. So I'm gonna put ample glue, but I'm not going to over glue. I'm gonna hold that down. So the card's gonna open like that. Okay, now we just need to insert this inside and it's gonna fit perfectly. So we're gonna put glue on this side. Again, enough glue without too much glue. We don't want it squeezing out, right? Okay, so if you do it this way, you match it up on the edge, match it up, match it up, and just hold it for a few seconds. And then go ahead and put some glue on this side. Close your card on top and hold it for the glue to set for a minute. Okay. Now I did cut out a circle out of my pale papaya. So out of the stylish shapes, again, you get these uh, circles and I did the second from the largest. Okay, so I did this one. And what I wanna do now is it opens. Isn't that so cute? Okay, so I am going to go ahead and adhere this to one of these panels inside. It's going to be in this one. So this will be where I would write my greeting. Don't think you'd want to put anything on this crease. It'd be really uh, crunchy <laughs> with the score line. I mean, it could possibly, but designer series paper is thin and cardstock is thick. So there's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and stamp. No one deserves a happier birthday than you from the stamp set. I'm going to make sure it fits on here. I think it will. Just making sure. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to stamp this in Evening Evergreen. The dreaded evening evergreen ink. <laughs> okay. I always stamp off and then I clean my stamp because it takes a lot less ink to the uh, 
to your scrub or to your chamois that way and you're not constantly you're not constantly washing it so how do you take care of your chamois and your scrub so my I do love the chamois so much um, and it's easy clean all you have to do is take it to the sink and run it under the faucet and it literally squeezes out like a sponge see a lot of ink fall away and then you squeeze it squeeze it rinse it squeeze it about five times put it right back in the case and poof that's it it's clean and it's wet you want to keep it like that Okay, so there is our card. It does need some ribbon right here. And I have our um, sweet sorbet. This ribbon will work perfect. So I'm just going to wrap this tightly around. Ooh, did I cut enough? Yeah, I did. Okay. Because I did not measure. I just went over and snipped off a piece. So I'm going to do it nice and tight. You don't have to glue it down if you do it tight enough. Isn't that so cute? If you want to do, um, I do with my scissors. <laughs> if you want to do a double, you can do that. If you don't want to, you can just fray it. Give it a little fray at the edges. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. Isn't that cute? Okay, so there is my book binding explosion card today. And you could 